Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Here at Dollars With Sense, I have with me Ron Cross from Park Trent, and we're going to be talking about what happened and what might happen in 2013. Lucky 13. Ron, lucky 13. Thank you, Dallison. It's great to be back on the show. Now, what happened in 2012? Well, 2012, as we all know, has been a challenging year. It's uh, not so much locally, but internationally and globally, it's been challenging for a lot of individuals overseas, and I feel for them. But in Australia, if we'd actually been investing and watching our money and our dollars and cents as, as the program is about, I'm sure we've come out of the year all right. Our company certainly has come out of the year all right. We've done very, very well. Yes. Now, 2013, what should we be doing to set ourselves up for a prosperous 2013? Well, 2013, what? I think, is going to be lucky for a lot of people. Those people that are motivated about moving forward and doing something about their finances and, and also securing their future, not only for themselves, Dallas, as I, as I practice and preach throughout Australia at my conferences, we need to be looking after our children and also further forward thinking, looking after our grandchildren. It's going to be difficult for these people in the future because of housing affordability. We're about housing and we're about investing. So I would say to these people in 2013, you need to make a move. And remember, when you're buying an investment property, you're not buying a dwelling. You're not buying a home like your own home. What you're buying is you're buying a business. And when you buy a business, you get a lot of tax incentives and a lot of government programs that help you and assist you to make, the, make that property work for you. Ron, you brought up a pet subject of mine, looking after your children, looking after your grandchildren, which really shoots those skiers down, spend your kid's inheritance. Nothing makes me more ill to the stomach than these people that want to spend all their kid's inheritance. They should be educating themselves, educating their children so that their grandchildren can also have a good life. I think a lot of people say they're going to spend, spend their inheritance, and they don't really mean that. That what they're going to do is they're going to make their children look after themselves and also probably help their children to be uh, self-sufficient. But what we can do in our lifetime, we have a great opportunity. This is the time to make it work for us. This is when housing is affordable. This is when there's a whole range of government incentive programs out there, by the way, of negative gearing, National Rental Affordability Scheme. These are assistant packages there for people to become involved in property investment. Then mightn't be around in the future for your children or your grandchildren to take advantage of. So when they're here to now, at this moment in time, 2013, it's time to take hold and take these incentive programs on board and help and assist your own wealth creation to look after yourself in your retirement age and the twilight years of your life so then you can pass something on to your offspring, to your children. Now you're talking about the twilight years of our lives. Once upon a time we retired when we were 65 and most of us were dead by the time we were 70. Now we're, what's the average age? 110 or something ridiculous. It's, in the, it's almost 80, the average age. Well, you're talking about 70. I am actually 70 myself and I'm still working a full day now. In fact, I work nearly seven days every week. So they say that the new 40 is the 60s and I hopefully in the future will be saying that the 70s are the new 50. So I hope to be going long into my 80s and uh, producing and helping and, and also creating creating a great deal for Australia and also Australians. But Ron, you're one of those few people that actually goes to work because it's their lifestyle and you like it. I, I go to work because I have a great responsibility. I have a great debt to repay this society and Australia for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be in business in this great country. And what I experience when I'm traveling around, I see people that have had tremendous opportunity in their lifetimes that have never taken it, never taken the lead and created that extra bit of security and wealth that they'll need. When you look at property investment, it's the best sort of currency that you can use. Property is the best asset that you can become involved in. And this is an asset Asset, that once you own it in this country, your family owns it till the end of time. It's interesting that you talk about property. There, of course, is shares, managed funds, and various types of property. You've got rural property, you've got commercial, you've got retail, and of course, you've got residential property. So even if you don't want to go into one particular strategy, there are many others to look at. When you talk about residential property, of course the banks will lend the most, you'll get the most leveraging, and it's probably one of the more conservative investment strategies that you can look at implementing. Certainly, and you know, I, I don't say anyone shouldn't have a share portfolio, they should also have maybe some residential real estate, certainly some commercial real estate in there, but most importantly, what's 
important for people is they do have some real estate, they do get started because when you look at the interest rate factors that we have today, the rental incomes that we're getting, also the future capital growth that I believe is going to be around in 2013, 14 and 15 will be enormous. It's a great opportunity. I said on an earlier program earlier this year that we're heading for the perfect storm. I still believe that and I think 2013 is going to be a wonderful opportunity for people to become involved in property investment. But Ron, property is so expensive in Australia. It's so expensive. I don't agree with that, Dallas, and I think you know, you're part of uh, a whole lot of journalists and, and commentators that say that, but I travel overseas and I extensively go to London and Paris and New York. I see the property prices in those major cities in the world. I'm comparing our major cities with them, and our property prices here are 20 to 25 per cent only of the total cost of those properties. So the likes of New York, Paris, London. Great cities. Lovely places to visit, uh, but they're much more expensive than a, new, uh, a Sydney or a Melbourne. Or a Brisbane or a Perth property. You know, Australia today, we take things for granted and we're, we're told certain things and they aren't quite correct. Our property prices in our major cities are very good value at the moment. The rental returns are fabulous and also grab the tax incentives and the, the, the government incentive programs that are available today that makes some really attractive investment opportunities. So you're really in a situation at the moment in Australia where you can be getting a, an investment property for circa $50. Well, now you can get an investment property right at the minute, and it makes you fifty dollars a week. You can borrow. Oh, 100, really? 100%. Positively geared property. Negatively geared with a positive return. You can borrow one hundred percent of the funding right at the moment, and it'll make your profit from day one. One hundred percent of the funding, negatively geared property with a positive result. It'll make your profit from day one. Why wouldn't you want to get involved in it? Ron, that's a very good point. Thanks for coming on Dollars with Sense. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Well, there you have it, Ron Cross on 2012, heading into 2013, with positive investment properties around, with what he said before, New York, Paris, London, all much more expensive than Australia, well, why wouldn't you at least look at it? And if you don't want to do an investment property, at least look into it and cross it off your list. 2013 may be your lucky number. Thanks for watching. Dollars with cents.